गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास टेन स्टूडेंट्स आई एम आई एम श्योर यू आर डूइंग योर वर्क इन टाइम यू जस्ट कंप्लीटेड आई एम श्योर द चैप्टर सिक्स वन चैप्टर सेवन वन ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर डूइंग द चैप्टर एट विच इज हाइट्स एंड डिस्टेंस इन ट्रिग्नोमेट्री एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट बीन एबल टू कम्प्लीट योर वर्क कम्प्लीट योर वर्क सो दैट यू आर इन पार विद द क्लास एंड यू आर कम्प्लीटिंग योर वर्क एंड यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑल्सो देन ओनली वी कैन मूव टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक विच इज हाइट्स एंड डिस्टेंस फॉर टूडे now for this you will have to understand certain basic things okay suppose we have to this is practical sometimes it is also uh, called practical use of trigonometry then some sometimes the student ask what is the use of studying maths and things like that irrelevant questions because they don't understand what is the use of mathematics use of mathematics is to develop your logical brain now in this video also i am telling you that this is a practical aspect of trigonometry okay Where you can calculate the height of a mountain, how the height of a building without climbing onto the building, without going to the top of the mountain, you can calculate certain heights just by measuring their angles. Now, how to measure? We measure angle in two ways, right? If there is a tall building or a tall, suppose there is a tall building here, and we are watching the building from this point. Suppose the building I am marking at say L M. From here A, uh, I can understand that if I just look at L point, this is called the top of the building and M is called the bottom of the building. So if I am looking at the top of the building from this point on the ground, I will have to look up. Whenever you are looking up, the angle which is formed is called is a very special name, angle of elevation. So you have to first understand what is angle of elevation. When you are looking up like this, you are making angle of elevation. Okay, this is one way. So this is basically what the horizontal, the ground, and you are looking up. So when you are looking up, and this, when you are looking up, this is line is called line of sight. Line of sight. S I G H T. Okay. This line where you are looking up, your eyes are eyes is making one angle with the top of the building. This is line of sight. In short, it is written as L O S. So angle of elevation is always like this in this direction. Okay, and you have to look up. Then you are making angle of elevation. Now you have to first understand another type of calculation is done. Suppose you are on the top of the mountain and or cliff, and you are looking down like this. so now this is called the horizontal the eye level and you are looking down so this angle that you are making downward this is known as angle of depression angle of depression okay when you are looking down you are making angle of depression and the object is here on the ground so we we'll do the calculation like this this angle is equal to this angle alternate interior angle This is the building AB. This is point P on the ground. This angle is angle of depression. This is horizontal. This is horizontal. Okay. And this line is called line of sight. L O S, as you know, I have just written. This line is line of sight. So whatever angle that the line of sight makes with the horizontal is either angle of uh, elevation if you are looking up, and if you are looking down. This is called angle of depression. So these two angles, uh, the definition you should understand. Okay. Then in uh, height and distance, in normally your questions are asked where the uh, values that will be used will be mostly tan, tan, uh, tan of forty-five degree. You should know what is that one. Tan of thirty degree, you should know one by root three. Tan of sixty degree, you should know. Root three and things like that. Okay, so if you know these three, tan forty five, tan thirty, tan sixty, the calculation will become very very easy. No need to make the table again and again for these values. Okay, you should know these values by heart now. And another thing is uh, the diagram. After these are word problems actually. These are word problems. Okay, so you need to first make the proper diagram. Only then you can solve the question. If you are not able to draw the diagram, then your question will be wrong. So I'll just read some of the questions so that you understand what I'm saying. 
suppose the question see these are just first to uh, tell you how to draw the diagram then we'll tell you the method to solve the question so this is 11th question of uh, there's just uh, one exercise in uh, this chapter miscellaneous 8 so i'm just reading the 11th question it says a tower is vertically placed on a horizontal plane it's standing on a horizontal plane so the angle of elevation of the sun is 30 degree the length of uh, length of shadow of tower is 45 meter then find height of the tower so what is he saying at that moment this is also known as sun's altitude where you are having suppose this is the tower okay so the angle of elevation of sun at that time from the point p on the ground we are looking at the sun this is sun here okay. and from here this angle from the shadow because the point where the shadow is this is the shadow of the tower pa ab is the tower pa is the shadow okay this is the tower this is the shadow and this angle that you are looking at the sun from this point just at the end of the shadow is 30 degree right this is the 11th question of exercise 8 and uh, it's saying that the length of the shadow tower is 45 meter so this distance here is is 45 meter and you have to find the height of the tower so i am writing h here so this way you will make a proper diagram this is the simplest of the problem but then you should know now tan 30 degree as you know tan of 30 degree in this triangle first we should name the triangle ba pba in triangle pba what you are writing tan of 30 degree is ba upon pa now what is tan of 30 degree as you know tan of 30 degree is 1 by root 3 ba as you know is your h and pa is 45 okay so what you will get here is h is equal to 45 upon root 3 meters then you can rationalize this also so you can multiply this by root 3 and root 3 and you will get h is equal to 45 root 3 upon 3 you can cancel also so the answer is 15 root 3 the height of the tower is 15 root 3 meters something like this so i'm sure you will be able to solve such kind of questions what you have to do is read the question draw a proper diagram and then apply simple trigonometry or inner triangle sometimes there are more triangles formed okay complicated problems so i'll take one more uh, question there are many questions like this we will solving them nearly all the questions but then this is just uh, an idea to you as to how to draw the particular diagram of a question uh, say for example question number 16 here the shadow of a vertical tower on level ground is increased by 45 meter when the altitude of the sun changes from 60 to 30 degree he is saying that shadow is increased by 45 meter 40 meter when the angle changes from 60 to 30 say it is getting evening so the sun is coming down so at the when it is 60 degree the shadow is smaller when it is 30 degree the shadow is long so he is only given as a difference between the two shadows he is saying the difference between the two shadows is 40 meter find the height of the tower something like this so again you need to draw a proper diagram after reading the question so you must read the question at least two three times so that you are able to understand it and then then only you can draw the proper diagram for example we are now just drawing the diagram for 16th question it's saying that there is a tower here first the uh, sun is here then the sun is a bit little down this way this angle is 60 degree because it is near us this is 30 degree okay and he is saying that this distance AB the this is just the increase of shadow increase from here to here was the shadow this much now it is this much so this is the increase in shadow so let me let me write the tower as LM um, BM distance is the original shadow 40 plus X is the new shadow LM is the height of the tower and uh, so now you have to find say height of the tower H and the distance X also so how will you find you have to use basic trigonometry okay so the basic trigonometry says that look you have to make two you have to write two triangles first let us take lbm triangle lbm in triangle lbm tan of 60 degree tan of 60 degree is lm upon bm now what is lm lm is h and tan of 60 degree is root 3 
and what is LM? H and BM is X. So what you will get? You will get X is equal to root 3X. Okay? X is equal to root 3X. This we can mark as equation number 1. So here we will get two equations and we will be solving the two equations. Okay? And here triangle uh, LAM, you get tan of 30 degree. Okay? Is equal to uh, LM upon AM. LM upon AM. LM is what? H. So let me solve this one. So first, let me write this x is equal to root 3x here as equation number 1. So I can again solve for this one, the other one. And I am writing tan 30 is root 3. LM is x and AM. AM as you can see, 40 plus x. So we can write 40 plus x is equal to h upon root 3, something like this. We can bring this side. So now can you substitute the value of h from equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2. So equation number 2 will substitute the value of h. So what do you will get? 40 plus x is equal to root 3 x upon root 3. These two get cancelled. Okay. So and you have to really understand huh, this value I have written 1 uh, root 3. Remember this is not root 3 here. This is 1 by root 3. So that's a correction here, it is 1 by root 3. Now let's do it again, otherwise it is getting cancelled. 40 plus x is equal to h root 3. 40 plus x is equal to h root 3. Now, h, what is the value of h? Root 3 x. Substitute here, 40 plus x is equal to h. What is the value of x? Root 3 x into root 3. Now what is root 3 into root 3? 3. 40 plus x is equal to 3 x. So 40 is equal to 2x. So x is equal to 20. So this will get x is equal to 20. And if x is equal to 20, x is equal to root 3x. So x is equal to 20 root 3. So 20 root 3 is the height of the tower. Then in uh, later on I'll also tell you to put uh, substitute the value of root 3 here. The value of root 3 as you know is what? The value of root 3 is 1.732. So you should multiply 1.732 and uh, you will get what 2 to the 4, 3 to the 6, 7 to the 14 and 1, 3. So it's some, something like this, 34.64 meter is the height of the tower. And the distance at first original shadow was 20 meters. So this is how you solve the questions on heights and distances. Initially we will be solving a few questions, then we will look at all the questions. Okay. So if you have not understood, revise it again, rewind it, try to see the full video so that you understand uh, what has been taught to you, okay? So see you in the next class.